Hey guys, it's San and welcome back to my channel. So today it is almost Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, it's just springtime and I am going to be painting this wooden bunny. It's part of this series I'm doing on my channel that these little wooden blocks came from this O in the word home and it's a little decorative thing and I'm redoing all of them for each different season. So let's get into it. So I really thought this bunny was kind of cute just to start with, but I wanted to make it look like my little ruby, and I'll put a little picture here to show you. But so I started off by mixing a very light brown color, and I ended up changing it because it wasn't the right brown. So here I'm adding some more brown, and then at some point I ended up adding a little bit of red because she's more of like a little tan color than just like a brown. I don't know, she's got a little bit of red in her fur. So I'm just painting this all over. This took about three coats. And then I'm making sure to paint the sides. And then I also did one little coat on the back. You're not really gonna see the back, but I didn't want it to look just strange and in case you accidentally see it. Okay, then after I painted the sides and the back and the couple coats, I then made a slightly lighter brown color. I mixed khaki and dark brown, and she's got some like lighter spots to her, and I wanted to give some like definition to the ears to make it look like it's realistic. So I'm just going back and forth and painting some lines where the ears would like fold under and I'm going back and forth between my first color and the lighter color I made to create that blend and make it look realistic. Then I took a tiny paintbrush and I did some little stripes down the ends of the feet to make it look like she's got little toes. I took a really light color and then I realized it was too light so I went over it with my darker color and then I ended up mixing the darker color and the lighter color together to get the color that I wanted. I used that same color for the nose and then later realized that it was too dark and I did make the nose lighter. So now I'm taking the back of a pretty thick paintbrush and I'm doing some dotting to make the eyes. I ended up flipping a smaller paintbrush around to kind of fill in the gaps and make it a little more detailed. And then here is where I'm making the nose lighter. Then I mixed a very dark brown with black for the whiskers. Now I'm not in love with the whiskers, they came out a little too wonky than I really wanted them to, but in real life whiskers aren't perfect so I'm okay with it. So then I took that same color 
and I used it for the center of the eyes and I just did the same technique as I did on the white part of the eyes. I'm taking the back of a paintbrush and just doing two little highlight dots and then fixing it up with a tiny paintbrush. some white paint to just make a base coat for the bow and I really wanted to do a red because my bunny's name is Ruby and I thought Ruby would wear a red Ruby bow so I'm mixing cranberry with fire shark red and a little bit of white to make a very reddish pinkish color and I did three coats of this Now this wasn't one of my more favorite DIYs, but I definitely still wanted to show you guys it since I filmed it and all, and to show you that not everything comes out exactly how you envisioned it in the end, and I can always repaint it next year. Not that I think it's bad or anything, I just think some of my color choices weren't perfect. And the whiskers do bother me a little bit. Then I took a sponge brush and I painted on some Mod Podge. I used the satin kind. It's a little bit more shiny than obviously the matte, but not as shiny as the gloss. So I do kind of like the satin Mod Podge. So I made sure to paint all over the whole thing with the Mod Podge and painting in the same direction that I painted in initially makes it look a little bit better. and I had to use a paintbrush to paint in the little parts of it. So this is how I painted my little bunny. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you liked these types of video, maybe think about subscribing to my channel if you want. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!